So for those of you uh, who maybe don't know, Eurovision is sort of Brian and I's Super Bowl. We watch it, it every year. Every year. We were really, the pandemic year was brutal for us because we usually fly out there. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if, if, if you win, Eurovision is a songwriting contest that all the countries in Europe plus Israel uh, get to uh, participate <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> That's true, by the way. Yeah, it was. Um, it was actually in Tel Aviv in 2019. It was held there. Yeah, yeah. I remember. That's where I met you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Of course. You had a tough time across the border. I helped you. It was tough, man. It I was, was like tough. the cab driver in Total Recall. <laughs> that was a really sad day <laughs> when I couldn't get when I couldn't get to Eurovision. So, so if you win the songwriting contest, the country that you're from hosts the next year's Eurovision, and it's a big deal. You get some, you get some, you know, some tourist bucks. You get, yeah, and you, you get you, a record you, label from some kind of clearable music, <laughs> yeah. music record label. It launches your career in countries where you, you know. You didn't even know they wrote music. But, yeah. Uh, um, so, so every country competes. Every they all they all elect a a, a band, uh, and then they they got to release a song or whatever. Exactly. So they have a local tournament. Mm-hmm. They're with their within their country. The winner of that goes to the national to the internationals. So this year's winner was an Italian band called uh, Maniskin. Uh, okay. And uh, they kind of look like Motley Crue or some shit. And there's a video, and people are starting to think that this is when they found out they won. Okay. This is in front of like 50 cameras. This is in front of like 200 million people watching live. Uh-huh. Allegedly, this man here who looks like the singer of Buck Cherry, if you remember that band. I do remember Buck Cherry. Uh, yeah, that man right there, shirtless with the dog collar on, uh-huh. allegedly is about to snort some cocaine <laughs> okay. live on this television. Let's check it out. Now go ahead and let's watch it. To go from Belarus to this story, we got range, dude. I don't care what anybody says. I'm so happy to have performed, and I'm so happy that Eurovision happened. I'm so happy to have. It's fine. It'll play one more time again. Keep it going. It's just, it's just gonna keep scrolling through. No, no, it's it keeps going to it more after. Okay, here. He takes a big fat... I mean, that was crystal clear, a big fat rail that guy was doing. So, congratulations, Italy. Pause it real quick. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. Let's just spend a little time on this man's outfit. Who who is this guy? (laughs) This is about a 55-year-old man who's wearing (laughs) a a sideways ball cap (laughs) and a Blue's Clues kind of polka dot shirt. This dude looks like like he's here to fuck a (laughs) (laughs) 12-year-old. He looks like an undercover cop. Yeah, like he really does in the eighties. He really does. Yeah, you guys know where I could get some grass? I know for a fact his other ear that we're not seeing is pierced. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> he has a diamond in it's his da- ear. No, it's dangly. Yeah, it's dangly. It's dangly. Yeah, okay, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Because there was a sequence during the broadcast. When you are seen in the background leaning <laughs> over the table and seems to be snorting something, and online people are suggesting that you are taking cocaine, what was it? Uh, uh, Thomas is break. A yeah, glass. exactly. He's Thomas not, break a glass. Yeah, he's not too- I don't use drugs, please, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, wait, watch this. So, okay, this man is wearing. His uh, eyeliner, and that's it. <laughs> He's at the podium. He's completely naked, just in case anybody's going to ask him about this so he can stand up. And say, it's <laughs> all natural! Yeah. Uh, so he he says that they broke a glass. Now, if you watch the video, that is not a man looking at a glass that broke. No. He is strategically... he, he Dude, and the comments are defending the shit out of him. The media is just mad that a rock band won Eurovision, which I get it. I was upset. As a huge fan of Eurovision, I prefer the pop acts. I like when the when sort of the folksy polka acts get through. Yeah, I do like it. Russia's always got an accordion involved. <laughs> yeah, it's I like... like- uh, it's like Weird Al doing techno. I love when countries who have no artistic skills whatsoever are yeah, like, yeah. we don't go. Why is this weird? <laughs> this is music. They're like, we're, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. We've been doing war for the last 3,000 years. Yeah, like, so, what's, uh, not, they're like what's not to like about this? The guy, he hits the drum. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. sing. He sings about strength. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And drum made from skull. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead and uh, click on top. Uh, go back into the uh, dock there and click on the top 10 songs. So this is a video that just real quick to give you an idea of the better songs, because these guys will listen to their, a little bit of their song. But um, these are the top 10 uh, uh, ranking songs from 2021 Eurovision. Okay. Now, I know you already know all this, but this, is, heart. this, yeah. Yeah, this is for the listeners. I, uh, I'm, You know how in SAG you get the... <laughs> 
<laughs> you screeners? Got, you get screeners? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm part of the Academy over there in Europe, so they sent me these albums. They sent me this album early in the year. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and press play, Ty. Let's start off with number 10 here. Number 10 at Eurovision is... Oh. This is Stefania, huh? Greece. Stefania. Yeah. Sort of a... Sort of a green... It's you know, the worst green screen action I've ever seen. You know what, though, man? In keeping with the theme of 2021, using a green screen is very 2021. Yes. So I like this. Now, the song's about dancing, called Less Dance. Now, number nine. This is Russia. This is a good song, actually. This chick who's singing is very sturdy. She's dressed like a Fabergé egg. So, yeah. I like how Russian pop stars are, like, sturdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, she could. She's harvesting potatoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's somebody, yeah. She would whoop your oh, fucking yeah. ass. You know, I do kind of want to procreate with somebody like that. Number eight from Lithuania, The Roop. I'm discotech. I'm not looking at the screen. Tell me when this is over. <laughs> this is kind of like Curious George's owner if he was gay. Brian, tell me when this is done. I'm uncomfortable with it. It's it's serious sexual energy. Oh, this yeah. feels like I'm in an H and M, and I don't know whether I'm in the male or female section. <laughs> Number seven from Malta. Destiny. All oh, right, Destiny. Okay, I like that they're going with uh, with somebody, uh, a person of color. Is Malta a? I, I don't know what I don't know <laughs> what Malta is. I like how they all have to sing English. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This uh, is kind of a cool. Beyonce, you know, sort yeah. of a Lizzo thing here, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a Lizzo. <laughs> From Finland at number six is Blind Channel with their song Dark Side. This is very Finland, by the way. Dude, I'm sorry. You have to be so good to do the two front men. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. It's never good to have two front men. You get one of them on a guitar or something, dude. Yeah, this is Linkin Park is the only band to ever pull that off. But even he picked up a guitar after a while, Mike Shinoda. From Ukraine, Go A, this band. This is the weirdest song of all of them. Yeah. This is a chick who I definitely would, would get into like a seven, eight, eight year relationship with. <laughs> 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 it would end because she killed herself in a bathtub. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's who I wind up with. Number four, Iceland with something. This now, is who this, I this should be great, getting. Yeah. This is who I should be getting into a seven, eight year relationship. This is with. like watching a comedy show in Silver Lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like Whitmer Thomas's special. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> a lot of guitars. Switzerland in at number three with John's Tears. John, of course, spelt intuitively G J O N. <laughs> All right, I'm not looking at this one. <laughs> I am. Chris is getting horned up on this guy. No, I am not. You know that's not true. He looks like Robert Downey Jr. in the '80s. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. All right, number two, the Chantrice herself from France, Barbara Pravi. I don't like my Chantrice as being this aggressive. No, I, I, I'm confused by this chick. I don't know whether I'm interested in her or. Yeah, are you? Edith Piaf or are you uh, Patty Smith and here's the winners the sober these are the guys who were doing coke <laughs> the sober Italian rock band I really hate can I tell you something man I hate that they were like I'm so pissed off at that, that they're like a rock and roll band and they got caught doing like a rock and roll thing I fucking hate that dude <laughs> yeah, yeah. you fucking cornballs you know you could, it was fully contrived Nobody's also, that rock and roll. Shout out to Europe for still somehow, like, they're not closing the gap. In the 90s, they were 10 years behind. In the early 2000s, they were 20 it's getting, years behind. It's getting more. In the 2020s, they're 40 years behind. It's a very good point. Europe cannot close the fucking gap. <laughs> It was Olivia Newton-John and Motley Crue up there. <laughs> I mean, look, if you give me that list of 10, I'd probably rearrange them a little bit differently. You know what I mean? Probably throw that Lizzo check closer to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just because I'm an American and I know what sells. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So, 